back to F, F, yeah, the thing. Yes, welcome to F Zero. F, F, F Zero. We're playing for zero. There's a dash in there, dear. Ah. F Zero for the Super Nintendo. Ah, uh, practicer, the Grand Prix. Pre. I'll uh, we'll go for the Grand Prix. Pre. Ah, so sort of a cold play. Um, I have played this many, many, many times before. But way, 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 way back in the 90s. Now, I've never played it myself. My brothers didn't play this at all, so... I've seen it being played in the arcade. It's, uh, it's, it was revolutionary for the time, I'll put it that way. It was a lot of fun. I had a buddy whose dad was, like, really, really into this. Oh. So, uh, let's get into it. Select your car. Oh, man. Oh, man. What am I gonna play as? Okay. Well, let's go with Captain Falcon. I think that's who he is. Captain Falcon. Oh, Blue Falcon. Falcon. Uh, you know what? Let, let's see what else we got. Got the Golden Fox. Oh, wild goose. Got the wild goose. And Fire Stingray. And the Fire Stingray. Are you sure these are Mega Man villains? <laughs> or big if I remember correctly, I used to play as the Fire Stingray a lot. Ah, pink. But, uh, let's go as the main one, because that's, uh, that's the fan favorite. Blue Falcon. The Blue Falcon. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, man. Let's, I, I'm, uh, yeah, let's go Night League because I stink. And I haven't played this in a bajillion years. Uh, eh, let's at least go standard, I guess. Mute City One. Where everything is quiet. All right, I don't even remember the buttons. Okay, that's that, uh, that's apparently my break. I think that's to restore your fuel energy. It's a very basic game from what I recall. Yeah, it's just like a futuristic racing game. Yeah. Oh, you do have a power button. Alright, so as many of you may have noticed, um, the Wednesday slot is usually me and Mike. Right. But uh, Mike could not make it down. He had... Uh, um, he had a death in the family, sadly. Yeah, it was quite sad. So, um, we're gonna do a few cold plays just to, oh, get through until Mike can come down. If he, if he can come down in the near future, we don't know. He's, he's got a lot of stuff to work with right now. Yeah, he's, he's very busy. So, uh, we're hoping the best for him. And, uh... So we're we're gonna play some uh, F Zero uh, as a cold play. Like I said, I, I played this before back in the day, but uh, I haven't played it in forever. Why? Don't. Apparently, throwing them in the wall does not hurt them. Uh, limit seven something. Right, I think that button is a speed boost. Yeah, that little flashy bar. Okay, now I'm starting to remember. Two laps left. Yep, because that's the Lord Perry. Alright, it's it's coming back to me now, folks. Moments of gold are flashes of light. <laughs> the things they never do again, but they've always seemed right. But yeah, a buddy of mine, uh, his old man used to love the hell out of this game. It's kind of funny, because back in the day, folks, um, I, I know at least it was with, like, um, my friends and all that. Final lap. Like, your parents really didn't really get into video games all that much. But, like, occasionally there was a game where, like, they were all like, this is a fun game and I want to play it. This was one for, like, my buddy's dad. Ah. And he would play the hell out of this game. In fact, it, it was kind of funny because when uh, my buddy ended up getting an N64, uh, his dad would actually just take the SNES with him huh. when he uh, went to work. Third place. 
Ja. Ah, blue. big blue. But yeah, I mean, I, I remember actually playing this a lot with his old man. <laughs> ah. And it's got a, you know, the funny thing about it is I don't remember much about this game except for, you know, like you're racing around. But the biggest thing of all has to be the iconic soundtrack. Oh, yes. I mean, it's getting you pumped up. It's getting you jazzed. Yeah. But as I've said before, I don't have a nostalgia for this game. I've never played it. My brothers have never played it. But we had a roller rink uh, in a nearby town that we used to go to a lot, and they had an arcade. Uh, it was the first time I ever seen a Hogan Valley machine. Um, but they had F Zero, and it was apparently one of the more popular machines in that roller rink because somebody was always playing it. Ha. See, there was this one, there was Frogger, there was Hogan's Alley, um, there was some beat em up game, I don't remember what it was, it's not, it wasn't one of the big ones. Pit Fighter. I don't think it was Pit Fighter. Let's see, it'll probably come to me, but, but yeah, but they had F Zero, and it was one of the more popular uh, uh, arcade machines in that little uh, roller rink. Ooh, I'm getting low on power. Bonk. You hit the wall. There we go. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Wait, <laughs> wrong machine. It's kind of neat though. They look like little bumper cars. I know, like those flashing ones. You don't want to hit them. I think they blow up. Ooh. Two laps left. You hit one of the flashy ones. No, no, no. That's uh, that's another racer. Ah. Now there's these cars that actually flash, and that means they're about to blow up. Oh. Power down. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Come on. Oh, we need to recharge our batteries. That's one of the flashing ones that you don't want to hit. Oh, oh dear. Okay. I'm still fucking in terrible shape. Ooh, we might not win this one, folks. Might not make it. Or we might make it, who knows? I say as I'm barely pulling off a third place. I haven't took first in any of these races yet. We're only on our second one, though. Second! Oh, not bad, eh? See, we made it. So I figured in honor of Mike, uh, one of these uh, cold plays I do would be a, uh, a racing game. Oh, I don't know. If he, I don't know if he played F Zero. I don't know if he's ever mentioned it. Uh, you know, knowing Mike, uh, he probably did. I see we're in the desert level. He was more of a he was more of a real racer fan though, so like yeah. he was sports. more into like the Need for Speed games and stuff. Yeah, him and his love of sports cars. I don't know. He might have played F Zero. Go away, purple car. Nobody likes you. I said, go away, purple car. Nobody likes you. Boink, boink. Yeah, it seemed to me like back in the day when it was you know like the Super Nintendo was out. Like, the big ones for racing games was like F-Zero and uh, Mario Kart. Oh yeah. And I never played Mario Kart. Uh, one of my fr uh, friends had a Super Nintendo with Mario Kart on it. She used to play it a lot. And that's the one and only time I've ever attempted to play a Super Nintendo and I failed miserably. Because <laughs> it's like there's too many buttons! <laughs> I thought the Nintendo controller was hard. Oh damn it. Which button flips the pills? Oof. This is a... Yeah, I know. I'm getting my ass kicked. This is a difficult course. It's very twisty turning. Power down. Yeah, I'm aware of that. 
Yeah, we're definitely not gonna live through this race. Has anybody got a charger? Oh, oh man. Ooh. Oh, I lost. Right into the right into the sand. Crashed out. Ah, uh, I guess we'll try again. In the sand ocean. Sand ocean. Isn't that actually more in? The sand desert. That's not an oxymoron. The sand trap. Well, those exist for real, especially on golf courses. The sand bath. Yeah, that exists too. That's how chihuahuas bathe. Fucker. Or not chihuahuas, chinchillas. <laughs> That's how chinchillas bathe. It's really cute to watch. Eat my electricity, doofuses. Yeah, doofuses. Oh, those sharp curves are a bitch. Or I'll give you the falcon punch. Now with 20% more vitamin C. Hashtag nuts one. <laughs> By the way, have you tried Magic Spoon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have you tried NordVPN? <laughs> Now listen here, chicken fucker. Use my special coupon code for HelloFresh. <laughs> if you're not hungry, subscribe to us on Curiosity Street. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> for other games, play Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Ah. And if you're hungry after that, subscribe to Blue Apron. Again, we are not suggesting any of these products, folks. <laughs> we're, we're cracking snark here. Yeah, we're not sponsored by any of them. We're just taking the piss out of them. Yeah, that's what we do. Well, for a great low rate, you can get online, call the general and save some tax. <laughs> call 9... <laughs> Wait, 7, seven cash now. <laughs> <laughs> Call 1010220. It's cheap for you and easy for them. Free for you, cheap for them. Oh. Trust me, I had to use that shit at one point. Really? Yes. Wow, I never used any of those. Yeah, we had the, uh, I don't know if we mentioned it in a previous episode, but yeah, I had to use 1010220 for uh, long distance. We had the stickers all over our uh, landline phone. Oh, I remember having, um, I had calling cards. Oh, I had to use those in college. Because my college was out in the middle of nowhere and did not have a... Uh-oh, we got flashing cars. Oh, damn it, we hit one of those fucking flashing cars. Yes, we did. We were doing good that time, too. Oh, no, we seemed to be on fire. I mean, good, yeah, fifth place, but, I mean, we're on the final lap. We were. We, we were doing better than we were. Oh, <sighs> wouldn't you like to be a Pepper, too? <laughs> All the timeliest of references on this channel, folks. Yeah. Calling cards, 10, 10, 2, 20. <laughs> and if you don't have the soundtrack, listen to audiobooks on Audible. <laughs> Oof. But no, uh, I went to a college out in the middle of nowhere that didn't have uh, regular long distance, so every time I wanted to come ho call home, I had to use calling cards. I, uh, I worked with a guy who was, um, he was from Ireland. Oh. And he, when, when we'd get into port, he'd always be all like, hey, are you going into town? I'd be like, yeah. He's all like, I need an international phone card. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah, he's like, yeah, I need an international phone card. It's the only way I can call home. Oh, we're down. Yeah, so I, I remember having to like go pick them up international uh, phone cards. Yeah, because we used to have them uh, right by the registers. Yeah. That and the standard phone cards and the premium phone cards, which well, I could never afford. I remember when he asked me to do it because I remember like I had never heard of an international phone card before. Hmm. 
But, uh... Game over. All right, we're going to put it on fucking um, beginner, beginner this time. And I'm going to play as the guy that I normally play Fire as. Fire Stingray. At least the guy I used to play as back in the day. Mute City 1. Mute City. Well, yeah, I remember uh, Christmases when I was in college. One of the stocking stuffers I got a lot was phone cards. Of course, that is a, th a thing of the past. No, I have. I actually have long distance. Well, I know, like, it was devastating if you um, accidentally made an international phone call on a cell phone back in the day. Oh, God. It was devastating to have a long distance phone call or uh, data. Because I used, I used to have a. Uh, one of my early phones, I had a, a plan that had free data on it. And uh, the phone company did not tell me that they switched me uh, switched to a plan, something to do with what they bought on another company, and uh, they they uh, discontinued the free data plan. So I was still making you know data plan uh, using data on this phone, you know, going on the internet and making long, super long distance calls because I had friends overseas at the time. And my mom got the phone bill, and she <laughs> uh, she wasn't too happy. <laughs> I think it was like over a hundred bucks. Wow. And keep in mind, it, it wasn't a contract plan. This was uh, uh, one of those pay-as-you-go ones. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I had to stop using data after that. I remember my old man, he, uh, when he was on the ship, he, uh, he was in Lake, uh, Lake Superior one time. And while he was up there, he caught a um, Canadian uh, cell tower. Oh. And yeah, he got his fucking phone bill. Fifty dollars an hour. Shit. Or fifty dollars a minute for that phone call. Double shit. Yeah, it was like it was a short phone call, but it cost him like a couple hundred bucks. Ouch. He was fucking furious. I, I don't blame him too. I'd be pissed as off you would too. Be. Final lap. Yeah, beginner is way easier, but then again, it's only Mute City. And I actually sort of, I kind of know what I'm doing again. It, like I said, it has been forever since I played this, but um, now I'm starting to get the hang of the game again. Just don't hit the blinkers. Ooh, nice save. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah! Number one in the hood, G. A little Aqua Teen Hunger Force for you folks. Oh. Only the timeliest references on the show. Big Blue. Is that still on? Uh, fuck if I know we don't have cable. <laughs> I can't imagine that it still is, but I don't know. You, you know, the funny thing is, folks, is uh, we were staying at a hotel a while, you know, not too long ago. Yeah, we were on vacation. Yeah, and um, we didn't bring anything along with us, you know, to stream videos on. Mm -hmm. So we had to watch cable. I and... God, how shitty cable. Oh, cable. yeah, it was just... Uh, I don't understand how people don't go mad watching fucking commercials. The commercials alone were just infuriating to me. Just trying to sit through any of them was just like, oh my God, these are the stupidest goddamn ads I've ever seen in my life. By the way, folks, use an ad blocker. Ad blocker, <laughs> ad blocker. <laughs> Again, not sponsored. I just really hate ads, and I don't want you to have to sit through them. Right. Maybe. Although I doubt we're going to get copyright stricken on this video, so... No, you too. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, it's hard to say. Maybe Nintendo's copyrighted all their fucking uh, F-Zero tracks. I wouldn't be surprised. This is Nintendo, after all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Miyamoto himself would probably sell his mother if he could turn a profit. If he's not taking mushrooms. Ha! <laughs> All right, first place. Let's see if we can keep it. But yeah, I don't even... You know, those those cable commercials are so bad. When I'm trying to remember one, my brain's like, Nope, 404, found, not found. They were that bad. We blocked it out. 
All I remember is everyone in the commercials, no matter what the commercial was for, seemed to be some sort of insufferable twat. <laughs> I just like one. If I met this person in real life, I just I I would do my best to get away from them. Mm -hmm. Because a, they're probably going to oh, complain shit. to the manager. <laughs> And B, I just, it's like, wherever they're hanging out is just like, nah, this is a bad place. I, I don't want to be here. Yeah, because I remember uh, there was that and uh, daytime TV shows. Oh, yeah. Because uh, at the place I was going, they had an outdoor plaza, and I made the mistake of going to this uh, outdoor plaza shopping center when it was 15 degrees outside. And I was freezing my tush off, so I was just like, I'm gonna go into this warm building where I can warm up and, you know, get give myself a hot chocolate or a tea or something to warm myself up before the bil uh, buildings reopen. Hot tatty. No, they didn't serve hot toddies, unfortunately. Shit. So, uh... Still won it. Winter, just barely. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, man, we just miraculously pulled that one off. Sand, ocean. Yeah, if you ever need to be reminded of how bad cable is, folks, uh, just go to a hotel and don't bring anything along with you, <laughs> or uh, or just go to any any doctor's waiting office or anything like that. It's yeah. I don't know. Do they still do? I think they still do that at, like airports and stuff too. They just have like the TV on and it's cable and it's usually the I, news or something. You know how long it's been since I've been in an airport? Yeah, that's a good point. I don't. <laughs> I refuse to fly, folks. I really do. It's not because I. Well, actually, I don't. I'm not afraid of crashing. Of the plane crashing, that doesn't bother me at all. Um, my issue is just the pressure in the cabin when we're coming down. Oh yeah, it pops your ears. Yeah. Well, it doesn't pop my ears. It just it, it hurts them unbearably. I had a lot of ear problems when I was a kid. Um, I had like dual ear infections when I was in my teens. I was deaf for like probably about a month. Oh, I've been there. Yeah, it was it was horrible, and like my ears are just they're very susceptible to pressure and shit now. Mm. But um, even even that is like all right. Well, it's only like the last fifteen minutes of the flight. It's it's not the worst thing in the world. It just it really hurts for a brief period. But honestly, for me, it's just all the security bullshit. Oh, uh, TSA and stuff. Yeah, it's it's just you know, they make you go through and then they confiscate all your liquids. Make you take off your shoes. They make you take off your shoes. They basically they do everything but buy you fucking dinner. <laughs> and um, and then you get in there and like oh yeah, and then sit around and wait for fucking ever because you got to be there so goddamn early. Right. And then it's just like, oh, I'm thirsty. Well, you can buy this pop for five fucking dollars. If it's not more than that. Like yeah. I, said, I, I haven't flown in a long time. I was going to say, just shows how long it's been since I've been to an airport, folks, because <laughs> that's how much it was the last time I flew. That was probably a little over a decade ago. Well, no, it was about, yeah, it was a little over a decade ago. Ah. But uh, back to the original tangent. Um, speaking of TVs and airports. Um... So yeah, I'm watching the daytime TV, and uh, it was Let's Make a Deal. Oh, and yuck. With Wayne Brady. Oh, really? Wayne Brady's Wayne in Wayne Brady is the host of Let's Make a Deal. Oh, I that's kind of cool. I like Wayne Brady. And one of the things you need to know about Let's Make a Deal is the contestants wear these goofy costumes, because it's a reboot of the 60s show, which had the weird contestants wear funny costumes. And I'm sitting here like, I don't remember, I vaguely remember this on... Uh, Game Show Network, but this modern version sucks. <laughs> There's one where they have the fast money round at the end where uh, people call in on Zoom and they say, Hey, so-and-so from Sacramento, California, you can win $100 if you find me uh, 10 cardboard boxes. That was literally one of them. And I was like, this is dumb. And there was another one where they... Uh, oh, the one that... Uh, on that Fast Money Challenge was uh, $150, one question, and it was... Oh, just barely squeaked that one out. And they, the question was, uh, 
in the Wizard of Oz, what did the Tin Man want? Ah, and a heart. The contestant said a brain. Ha! What a dumbass. And if I wasn't somewhere in public, I would have thrown something at the TV. Because <laughs> it's right there in that America song. God's never gave nothing to the Tin Man that he didn't already have. Damn straight. A brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. But the one that really pissed me off was the, uh, um, it was, uh, Price is Right. Uh, because I haven't seen Price is Right in ages. Because usually I'm asleep around that point. And they completely redesigned the studio. You know, instead of the uh, the brown chairs and the rows, they had these, like, neon blue pods with three to a person. And I'm sitting here like... And it's way brighter than it usually is. I mean, they have the, like, 70s uh, flowers in the background, but I was just like, this, is, this isn't right. This just feels... Like a parody of Price is Right. I don't. I haven't been able to watch The Price is Right since uh, Bob Barker left. I mean, I hear Drew Carey's okay. I've got nothing against Drew Carey. I like Drew Carey actually. He's pretty good as the host, but he's no Bob. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It just it didn't feel. It's sort of like Jeopardy. I doubt I'm gonna watch Jeopardy without Alex Trebek. I still miss Alex. It just, it doesn't feel like Jeopardy without him. Yeah, I don't know who the host is on Jeopardy now. I gave up a long time ago when they were playing uh, roulette hosts. But it's just like, I maybe, because I used to be obsessed with Jeopardy. I, I tried, uh, I tried to go uh, audition for that show when they have the online quizzes. Oh yeah, I remember that. I, I've taken those tests a couple times myself. The online test, thank you. Yeah, I've tried to get on Jeopardy. Uh, I lost count at 15. But I never got in, and it's like, nowadays it's just like, yeah, Jeopardy, okay, it exists. I mean, if, if, they, if they get the opportunity to take the test again, it probably would just for kicks, but don't hit them, don't hit them, don't hit them. All right, phew. There we go. Ooh, we needed that power boost, too. But uh, yeah, the, the modern price is right set. I was like, okay, I, I'm done with TV. I know what this is going to happen. You're going to play prices. Is... Whoa! Winner, winner, chicken I took dinner. first on that. Yeah, we got We squeaked on that one. I mean, it was basically a NASCAR track anyway. But... <laughs> Silence. Silence. I don't know. This is pretty loud. Why is it called silence if there's music? That's what I'm wondering. Look at the background though, it feels like an alien planet. Oh, I forgot, this one has the mines. Ooh, they're, they're definitely ramping it up, aren't they? Sharp corners too. Holy crap. Fuck. Oh, holy crap. This is this course was designed by someone with only a ruler. Pretty much, yeah. All right, we're going this way. Okay, now we got some curves in here. Yeah, I remember this track now. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> this looks like uh, this looks like a controller breaker. Especially when they do shit like that. Oh, we're down to tenth, fifth place now. That's not good. Oh, you forgot your power. Yeah, I know. Like I, I just the ads and daytime TV. It's just like I'm glad I am a night owl. I'm gonna go back to my hotel room and watch YouTube videos. <laughs> Again, folks, ad blocker. Yeah, sorry I'm not more talkative. This is just a really, really tricky race. It's a tough track just by looking at it. Oh, you fucker. Oof. 
Come well, on. at least it set him behind, too. Final lap. Oh, good. I needed that power. Yes, you did. I'm right at the limit, too. Ooh. Take it to the limit. Limit! It's pretty much... Ah, oh, and the guy is not too far behind me. Shit. Shit, shit. Oof. Yep, that's gonna cost me. God damn it. Ooh. You last. Ah, oh, so close, too. So close. So close, yet so far away. Well, I guess we gotta try again. Why are you so petrified of sailors? Here, can you handle this? <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to come back to me now, folks. Not in a good way? Oh, no, no. I remember why I didn't like this game very much to begin with. Oh, the wall's of lava. That ain't good. Ooh, that is a, that is a nope. That's a nuh-uh. Oh, great. Yeah, doing even worse now. This is like bumper cars. I bet this is like hover car demolition derby. That little purple bastard is not letting up. That was signal for something. I don't know why. Out of my way, asshole. Into the wall. To the window. To the wall. Ah, skeet, skeet, motherfucker. Only the time list of references on this show. Well, that put me a little bit ahead. Power down. All right, well, got a little bit of power back anyway. Good, because I fucking need it now. Give me the juice, spaceship. Give me the juice. Give me the good shit. None of that that uh, macrobiotic paleo uh, electricity. Uh-oh. Yep, there we go. Final lap. Let's see if I can pull this off. Ooh, not with this much power. I can, I bet. Ooh. Uh oh, we got a blinker. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Oh no, we're blinking. And now we've just been kicked down to fourth. And God we blew damn it. Ha. <sighs> As we look at the flaming wreckage of our car. We're not giving up on you yet, Silence. We still got like two chances too, so. God, it's... It's not a bad race. It's just, if you get behind, you're fucked. Oh yeah. But one little, uh, one little mistake and you're in the weeds. Or in this case, uh, in the pods. There we go. That's what I needed to do. That's the ticket. That's the stuff, hostess. Uh, I remember the great Twinkie scare of the, uh... Oh, the I hawk. forgot about that, yeah! Where, uh... What was it? Hostess went out of business or something like Hostess that? Hostess was facing bankruptcy. And, uh... Yeah, and they thought they weren't ever going to make Twinkies again. And so everyone was buying up as many boxes of Twinkies as possible. Yeah, you had like $100 boxes of Twinkies on eBay and, and stuff like that. 
and I was sitting there like, you know, Hostess makes uh, stuff other than Twinkies, right? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Hostess did some uh, refinancing and they were able to get out of bankruptcy. So it's just like, whoa, how are you gonna, what are you gonna do with your $100 box of Twinkies now? I can't help if they did that on purpose just to drive up demand. I don't know, they Because I know like people were buying up Twinkies like crazy. Oh yes. Alright. Mirror you. Alright, we got two laps to get in front of these assholes. Meanwhile, I was just, just like, oh, Twinkies goes goes out of business. There's always little Debbie. You have a cat that likes Twinkies. Yeah, he does. He likes... He'll fucking steal them right out of your hand if you let him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He likes... Or if you're not paying attention enough, I should say. Because yeah, there's one time uh, I ate a Twinkie, and sometimes the Twinkies, uh, the... Dough, the cake gets stuck in the wrapper, and I unwittingly threw the wrapper in the trash because I completely forgot about uh, his little sugar addiction. And I go to the bathroom, and I, and, uh, I come out and I hear a crinkling noise, and I'm sitting there like, crinkling cellophane? Oh shit! Sure enough, I go into the trash can, here's the cat, falls on the lid. Ah, finally! He had the damn Twinkie wrapper in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, third place, but hey. Third, hey, you know, C's get degrees. Not D's in this game, though, hell no. No. You gotta get a passing grade. Okay, hey, that's, that's it for the pre, okay. All right, okay. You know what, I'll take it. So, oh, I wonder how we did overall. Well, one way to find out. I bet we didn't win. Ooh, that's a lot of ones. They did pretty good at the uh, band competition. Ha! Ooh, they did terrible at that band competition. Oof. Solid threes and fours, though. Uh. That's it? That's it, I guess. Okay. Alright, well, hey, uh. <laughs> that's, uh. That's F Zero. At least that's what we're gonna do for F Zero, cause. Uh. A. Eh, there's two more divisions, but this is a cold play. And uh, also, I'm not that good at the game. I was gonna say, it, it's solid nostalgia. I can see why people like it. Easy to learn, hard to master. Oh yeah, this is this is a very fun game. Oh. It's, I, I've always kind of liked it. It's, um, like I said, it's a good game. You just have to, uh, you just gotta get good. You just gotta get that, that, that that's, that's the catch. <laughs> but, uh, I remember I loved the concept when it came out because, you know, it's future cars are, you know, supposed to be the future. Uh, racing over a city and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I really, uh, I really enjoyed this game. I actually, the music was iconic. It's, I oh, mean, yeah. it's a simple racing game, but it's a lot of fun. Sometimes the best things in life are simple. Yeah. So anyways, uh, that'll wrap it up for this uh, game, folks. It was a fun little look at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, very nostalgic for me, actually. <laughs> All right, end of the episode. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and have a good day. And Falcon Punch. Falcon Punch, don't touch the walls. <laughs>